and it's not charging, I'm gonna give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. Now, the first thing to mention is if you have a, uh, iP or a um, Apple iPod that's on, but obviously it doesn't charge, if, if yours is actually powering up, what I want you to do first is go ahead and turn it off and then turn it back on, okay? And most of you guys probably have one that's completely dead. This is an iPhone, but same thing here. But it's completely dead, it doesn't come on. Now this is what it's supposed to look like. If you have a um, working iPod, when you plug it in, as soon as I plug it in here, and this is totally dead, when I plug it in, you should get like a battery symbol. After five seconds or so, if it's charging, you'll get this, okay? If it's not charging, you know that this means it's not charging because they want you to connect the um, charging cable. Now, really quickly, a lot of times the issue is actually your, um, your charging cable. So what I want you to do first is this. I want you to go ahead and plug it in like this. And then what I want you to do is bend like right around the tip here, okay? Go ahead and bend it and then wait for five seconds and see if it starts charging, okay? If it doesn't, bend it the other way. Wait for like five, 10 seconds, see if it starts charging. And then bring it the other way. Wait a little bit, see if it charges. Bring it down, see if it charges. Typically, if it starts charging when you're like bending the cable like that, then typically the corporate is actually the cable, okay? So the first thing I want you to try is go ahead and if you have another iPhone cable around, try that or borrow a friend's and just go ahead and plug it in and see if that works. If it doesn't, then the culprit is possibility too that it could also be your wall adapter, okay? Also, it could matter where it's plugged into, okay? So if you have this plugged in to like a wall socket, what I want you to do is pull it out and plug it into another wall socket and then try to see if your iPod starts charging. If not, go ahead and if you have another one of these um, wall adapters laying around, try one of these. This one here is from my Android phone, but these work as well. Try it in different outlets. If still no go, go ahead and just use the USB and plug it into like a USB uh, multi-port charger or plug this into your laptop or your computer and then see if it charges that way as well. Now, if it's, not, if it's still not working, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the next step, but just really quickly, if you need if you need to buy an iPhone cable, then I would recommend this like blue one here. I mean, for like a five pack here, I mean, I, I bought many of these for gifts and stuff and for myself between like 12 to $14, but right now on Amazon, it's $10. And it's basically for five cables. You get like two, three feet, uh, two, I think six feet, and like one that's 10 feet. And it's actually like $10 right now on Amazon. I'll just show you really quickly so no one thinks that I'm like lying. But right now it's $10 for five cables. And these cables work great. I'll put a link below in the description. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next step if it's still not working, okay? Maybe uh, you don't have an extra cable laying around or maybe it's not working or... Anyways, we're gonna put the cable to the side for now, okay? So next thing to do to try to do is this possibility that your charging port is dirty. You know, a lot of times, believe it or not, you guys have lint in there, but it could be lint, it could be dust, it could be uh, like something that's sticky, you could have had like coffee in there, even water in there, lotion in there. Okay, so what I want you to do is, if you have like, a, grab yourself like a, a wooden toothpick or a, a plastic toothpick, and also a toothbrush just in case, okay? So first thing is just go ahead, it doesn't matter uh, what order you do it in, Let's go ahead and start off with the toothpick here. What I want you to do is go inside the charging port and just slowly do this, okay? And a lot of times what happen is you'll start pulling out like a little bit of string and then you can grab it and you pull out a big old lint ball, okay? Because what happens is when, you're, when there's a buildup of lint and you keep um, pressing in your charging cable, you're smashing everything down and a lot of times um, you can tell, you know, when you when you plug your um, cable in, it doesn't go all the way. When you plug it in all the way, it should be exactly flush like that, not no space in between. Okay. Anyways, keep on doing this really gently. Also, I'm not responsible if anything happens to your iPod. Blow it in. Then go ahead and grab your charging cable, plug it in, and see if it starts charging. If not, next step is go ahead and grab yourself a toothbrush here. And what we want to do is just put the bristles in there and give it like a little wipe like that. Put it in there. Blow it in there. Then go ahead and grab the charging cable, pop it in there, and hopefully you are now charging, okay? If not, then what I would do is I, I would go over again, okay? Use the toothpick, see if, it, if anything's in there. Also use the toothbrush again, okay?
Now, if none of these steps work for you, then I want you to go ahead and start from the very beginning of the video and try every single step again, okay? Remember, go ahead and try to change uh, different um, wall sockets and all that because we did the cleaning leg during the uh, middle, so we could have cleaned something, but now it's just an issue with your uh, outlet or maybe your wall adapter or maybe your cable, okay? Anyways, most of you guys should be up and running now. Let me know which step worked for you, all right? Good luck, guys.